Welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support's Multimedia KB Session. My name is Vimal and in this session I am going to discuss how to update the session property for all the sessions in the repository or for a set of sessions meeting a specific condition. We can use the pmrep mass update command to update the session property for the session and this command can be used in three specific ways. You can update the session property for all the sessions in the repository or you can update the session property for all the sessions in a specific folder or you can update the session property for a set of sessions that meet a specific condition. This command can be used to automate the update of metadata or if you don't know what's the values that are there in sessions but you want to update uh, the sessions based on a specific condition then also this command can be used. So this is the syntax for the pmrep mass update and as you can see there's a set of flags that go with this command and I will be dis discussing the significance of some of these flags in the demo that I'm going to present. So let's have the demo for the scenario one where you want to update the session property for all the sessions in the repository. So in the workflow manager I have opened a folder and edited the session and in the properties tab there is a session log file directory. So let's assume that you want to update the session log file directory path to a different directory structure compared to custom that you have here and this applies to any other session in any other folder. So I can open test folder 2 and let's check what is the value that's set for this session. And this has been set to x slash y slash z slash. So after I run a command it should be able to uh, the session log file directory has to be updated to a completely different structure. To update all the sessions in the repository, we, we, we need to create a query in the repository manager client and then create a persistent input file based on the query. So let's go to the repository manager and create a query. So I have logged into the repository manager and I have logged into the repository and click on the tools tab and open up the queries option. And as you can see, I have already created a query here. And in this query, I have chosen all the folders in the repository so that I can update all the sessions. And I have chosen the session and all its dependencies. And if I execute this query, I, you should be able to see that I have a list of all the sessions that has been returned. And now having created the query, now we need to create the persistent input file. So you can log into the Power Center server and go to the server bin directory or go to the Power Center client bin directory. And then you need to connect to the repository from the client bin or server bin directory. In my scenario, I have already connected to the repository using the pm rep connect command and the command that I need to execute to, to create the persistent input file is this pmrep execute query minus q new query one minus u persistent file so the minus q is the name of the query name the name of the query that we created in the repository manager client and minus u is the name of the persistent file so let's go ahead and execute this as you can see this command has succeeded and it has created the persistent file with 35 records returned now we are going to use this persistent file to update the session property for all the sessions in the repository. So I have pasted the command here that I'm going to execute. So explaining the significance of the flags, minus T is the session property type and minus N is the attribute that I'm going to update in this case which is the session log file directory. Minus V is the value that I want to be assigned to the session log file directory minus i is the name of the persistent file minus g is the session instance and minus u is the output file that gets created that has the dump of the output of this command the minus m parameter that's called test mode 
So if you want to see the list of sessions that are going to be updated but before it gets committed to the repository then you can use the minus M option. The minus M option is a good option that you can use so that you can be comfortable with making the changes to the repository but before you make the changes you want to see what are all going to be updated. But in this scenario I'm going to delete the minus M because I know what I, I'm comfortable with the sessions that are going to be updated and I'm going ahead and going to execute the query. As you can see the command has succeeded. Now let's open up the workflow manager and check what's the value set for the session log file directory. So I'm opening my folder and then opening up the session and in the properties tab it has been set to informatica slash. This is the value that I wanted to be set. So now even if I open up any other folders in in the repository and any other sessions they all would be set to informatica slash because we have create updated the session property for all the sessions in the repository so as you can see this is also set to informatica slash so now let's go to the second scenario where you want to update the sessions in a specific folder where you want to update all the sessions in a specific folder to a specific value. So and in this scenario also I'm going to update the session log file directory and I'm going to use the test folder 3 as an example for this test. So as you can see I've opened up the test folder there's only only uh, there's only one workflow here but um, this command would apply for any number of workflows in this folder. So it has been set to Informatica because in scenario one I updated the session log file directory to Informatica for all sessions. I'm just going to change it to custom slash and um, just for the sake of the demo. So now the session log file directory has been set to custom and please do note that you need to close the folders before you execute this command. So this is the command that I'm going to use to update all the sessions within a folder. So if you notice the parameters are exactly the same as the previous query that executed minus T minus N minus V minus G minus U. The only parameter that has changed is the minus F and in the scenario one we were using minus I. So minus I means persistent file and minus F means the name of the folder. Minus I and minus F commands are mutually exclusive. They cannot be used within the same command. So let's go ahead and execute this command. As you can see the command has succeeded and now let's open up the test folder 3 and find out if the session log file directory of the session was updated to informatica slash. If you remember it, uh, uh, we had, I had changed it to custom and now we need to make sure that it has been updated to informatica slash. And now let's check and it has been in, it has indeed been updated to informatica slash. So now now we can go to the scenario 3 where you want to update a certain set of sessions based on a condition. So it can be within a folder or you can be within all the sessions in a repository. So you can use the same syntax um, that I'm going to show in scenario 3 to both cases where you want to update all the sessions within a folder if it meets, meets a condition or all the sessions within a repository if it meets a condition. In this demo I'm going to show the persistent file option where it's going to check through the whole repository and check if that condition matches and if so it will update the session. So let's get to that now. So for the purpose of this demo I've opened up the session within my folder 2 and named the session for fi log file directory as folder 2 slash and now I'm going to open up the folder 1 and change the session log file directory to folder 1 slash. So here it's set Informatica so I'm changing this to folder 1 slash. So if you, if you note 
my session log file directory in that folder one session is set to folder one slash and the session within folder two has been set to folder two slash. Now I want to loop through my whole repository and f update the session property for property for all sessions who has session log file directory set to folder one. Basically, go through the whole repository wherever I see that my session log file directory has been set to folder one slash, update it to a new value and ignore any other sessions. So let's see the command that I would execute for this purpose. So as, you, as I mentioned before, go ahead and log out of the repository or at least out of the folders. So this is the command that I would use to update certain se sessions based on conditions. So minus T and minus N as I've explained before, they remain the same. So minus V is the custom directory value that I want to set my new log file directory to. Minus I is the persistent input file name. Minus O is the condition variable, whether it's equal to. And minus L means folder one slash. So wherever my session has a log path, session log path of folder one slash, I want that to be updated to new underscore custom underscore directory slash and minus u as I mentioned before is the output file name. So let's go ahead and execute this command and see what's the output we get. So the mass update command has completed successfully. So now let's open up our test one folder and test two folders and see what has the values been updated to. So if our command has worked successfully, only my test folder one should be updated and my test two folder should not have been updated. So let's go to properties tab. And as you can see, my session log file directory for the for test folder one session has been updated to the new value because my match condition was successful. It did my find out folder one slash and updated this to new custom directory. Now let's open up our test folder two just for confirmation and the session log file directory should not have been updated at all. So let's edit the session and check the property here. And this has been retained as the old value. So yeah, so that brings us to the end of the demo, ses demo session and brings us back to the PowerPoint presentation here. So um, make sure that before you run the command, all the users are logged out of the repository because if any user has opened up a workflow, the command would fail because it's not able to get a right intent lock on that workflow. And minus M option is the test mode option where none of the changes are being committed to the repository, but you can see what all sessions are going to be updated. Minus U means it's going to print the output to a text file and minus F and minus I options are mutually exclusive. So you can refer to the command reference chapter for any um, syntax confirmations and also to these listed KBs for more details on PM rep mass update command. Um, we would love to hear back from you for any feedbacks and uh, hope you like this demo session. Thank you.